Hello there. As authorities continue to grapple with the negative impact of COVID-19, many companies have opted to keep their employees working from home. Now, while most workers were optimistic about the new work from home arrangement, initial trends showed that remote work actually improved productivity. However, many workers are now realizing that working from home presents a different set of challenges. In this video, I offer three practical tips on how you can stay productive despite the challenges of working from home. I'll be right back. Welcome back. My name is Raymond Huan, and if you own a business, you're interested in business, or you wish to learn more about the tips and tricks on how to operate the business better, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button that you see before you right now. Working from home provides many advantages. It reduces commute times, and if you live in the suburbs and commute to the central business district every day, that translates to a lot of time saved. And since you're working from home, it frees you from the distractions of chit-chatting with your co-workers throughout the day. However, if you have been working from home the past few months, you will understand that working from home presents a different set of challenges and distractions. And this is especially true if you live with family and have small children running about. Productivity experts say that the challenges associated with working from home comes from losing our ability to compartmentalize in our daily lives. Pre-pandemic, when we worked in an office and went back home to relax and rest, the change in environment or the context allowed us to separate our work and our home responsibilities. However, when we started working from home, we began to work and relax in the same environment, which becomes distracting and sometimes disorientating. When we work, live and relax in the same space, it's easy to get lost in a long list of things that occupy our daily lives. And that also guarantees a chaotic environment that is actually quite stress-inducing. This means that to address the challenges of working from home and to maintain our productivity and sanity, the key is to learn to compartmentalize. With that in mind, here are three things that you can do to compartmentalize your lives when working from home. This can be a spare room if you have one. If not, cover a little nook that is just for work. Studies show that having a dedicated space for work puts you in a working mindset. And when I mean space, it means that this is the space that I go to when I need to work. Do your best to manage the space by creating a conducive working environment that mimics the workspace that you're used to in your office. Consider investing in a comfortable chair or an appropriate desk especially if you think you'll be working remotely in the long run. Make sure your space is well lit and create a layout where most used supplies of your office is well within reach. Ensure that you have the right equipment, then you do not need to run all over the house to get and have access to equipment like your printers and your laptops. Your dedicated workspace can be as, as elaborate or as spartan as you want but the goal is to have a dedicated space that puts you into work mode. And by creating the dedicated space solely for work, your partner and your family will realize over time that when you are there, that means that you are working and should not be disturbed unnecessarily. Once you have compartmentalized your space, it's time to compartmentalize your time. Set your working hours and create a routine because routines improve productivity levels. Now, setting work schedules help put you into work mode, and many productivity experts say to plan for only five hours of work, and the rest of your work hours are meant to address any issues and last minute tasks that may come up throughout the day. And this is important. Begin and end of work on time too. When you work remotely, ending the workday is perhaps the most difficult thing to do for some of us. Many of us feel that because we work from home, we suddenly have a lot more time to work. That's not necessarily true. In fact, it's this mindset that adds to the stress and reduces productivity. There's a funny but practical tip I've heard on how one ends the day. Try playing a goodbye song at the end of the day to signal that the day has ended. And once that song plays, it's time for you to put your phone and laptops away. 
tidy up the workspace, and leave as if you were leaving for home. The key thing is to remain disciplined in setting up your work time and sticking to it. And when you're away from your table, you will not get the guilty feeling of going back there to work because you have put in your best and most productive time of the day for that work. Segment your work tasks from your personal tasks. Many make the mistake of juggling work and personal tasks and that just creates a very chaotic situation that is difficult to manage in the long run. It also reduces your productivity and unnecessarily prolongs your workday. But if you do need to do personal errands during your work hours, schedule them in and make them part of your routine. I know that I've been guilty of that many times and I can share the fact that scheduling your personal errands as part of your routine, if it's necessary, does help in overall productivity. Scheduling such tasks in allows you to be pragmatic and less distracted as you know you have the time to handle that later in the day. So what tips or hacks have you made working from home easy and productive for you? Why don't you send me an email? I would love to hear your thoughts on that. If you're interested to know more about what a business has to go through when facing exponential growth, you can download the first chapter of my book from 20K to 2 million in two years absolutely free. The chapter talks about the differences between a good and a great business and puts out questions that make you consider how you can turn your business from good to great. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon.